What's going on? All right, here with Ashton Zenzel. Heptathlon national title. <laughs> the smile on your face says it all, says it all, young lady. Tell me what is going through your mind when you hear that. Oh my God, it's, I just can't even, I don't know, I can't process it right now. It's just a dream come true. And um, to do it on the home field is even more of a just mind shock right now. But I I was kind of dazed the first lap going around the eight because I was like, this is it. This is the last time I get to wear the burnt orange on, on the track. I practice on every day and to represent, you know, Texas and, and the new program, Coach Flo has been developing and, and it just kind of hard not to cry <laughs> while thinking about it but I um, I was happy to finish with the, the win uh, here. And you had four PRs over the two days. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Which one are you most proud of? I think um, the hurdles and the long jump. Um, I think it, it finally clicked all, all the work that Coach Flo has been working on with me and just, just a few cues that we have every now and then with practice. and. Um, just trusting his, his training and, and trusting myself, knowing that I can do it, and um, and just believing in our new team and, and, and me. It was obvious in the long jump, because after the very first jump, you got up, screamed, <laughs> ran across the long jump. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. And then it. we're questioning, all right, is that legal? Did they say anything to you? Um, no, it was, I just couldn't. Um, I don't know, I, I was hoping it was a huge PR and it was. I was just waiting for it to be like, not a foul, first of all, and then for it to be a, a new personal record. Um, and then when I found out, I just started going crazy. I was like, oh my God, I think I just, you know, clinched, you know, first position because I knew I had a big jab throw coming. And um, go, going in, I didn't want to be more than 300 points away from Tyra. Um, and I was 256 points away, so I was super relaxed after that and, and super excited to, to finish the next two events. And that's what I was just going to ask you. Yeah. You were within 260 entering the jab. Yeah. What was in your mind because you know you throw the jab really well? <laughs> it was just to put a big one out there. And usually I'm one and done and that's kind of what it was. It was the first throw. That's all I needed. And I was trying to get a big one out there, but I think I was just too anxious. But. Um, I, I put a big one up and I, now I just had to relax and, and get ready to finish the eight. So what did you do in between? Uh, the four hour break. <laughs> yeah, the four hour break. Well, I uh, put my feet up, took a shower, cooled off because I was so hot um, and, and took, kind of took a nap. <laughs> I was so tired. But um, no, yeah, I was just kind of mentally getting, getting ready to run this eight and, and trying, like I said, not to cry about <laughs> being a national champion. Your mom was in the stands, had a big fat head poster of my you. My mom and my sister, yeah. Um, your entire family was there, as you mentioned, uh, winning on your home turf, only the second heptathlete ever to do so in the yeah, national yeah. title. Should, yeah. So what does that mean to you to win it here on your home turf after all you've gone through? Um, after all I've been through, after transferring from a and here to Texas, after um, battling to, to find out whether this was a good decision or not and, and breaking the school record over and over and over again proving to myself that it was to do it to finish out with a new school record personal best first time in the history of Texas ever Texas you know heptathletes ever won a national championship um, to do it on my home field it's just uh, it's indescribable. It's a dream come true. I can't, I'm getting anxious just talking about it. But no, I'm so thankful, and, and it brought tears to my eyes knowing I did it for for Texas. You're over 6,200 points. Yeah. Oh. What's next for you? Um, worlds. <laughs> I think. Well, USA is first, and um, I think that will qualify for worlds um, this October. So that'll be my next big stage. So well, how much time do you take off before you start training again? Um, about a week. <laughs> I need a week to recover <laughs> from this. Um, but then it's uh, right back at it and uh, getting better and trying to PR more and more this year. Of your seven events, which do you think you need the most improvement in? Um, the most improvement? 800. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, girls are running like 210, 212 now, and I'm still stuck at that freaking 220 wall I hit every time. So I think if I knock a few seconds down, that's another 50 points. So I think that's a big jump I could make. Well, Ms. Amzell, we've been following you for a long time. We've interviewed you 
multiple times over Texas Relays. Yeah. Now we get to tag you with the title National <laughs> Heptathlon Champion. Ah, thank you. Congratulations.